you know, here we are, we're on the planet for a small amount of time. Maybe this has been a, a way for people of a younger age in particular to look at how your life could actually be a lot better. The problem we're talking about the environment has always been, oh, well, it, it's too big for the individual. And COVID has actually shown us that that is not the case, that it's not too big for the individual, that an individual can make a massive impact. The Isle of Man is so amazingly lucky and fortuitous in this way that we are a, a contained community, so we perhaps can be considered and measured about our restart. And the other thing I want... The one thing that we should not lose is the opportunity to go back to something that was not normal before, but is so-called new normal. But, but, but rethinking how we use stuff, um, uh, whether we actually need to go and buy five years supply of toilet paper because somebody sneezes. Um, you know, these, these kind of things we have, maybe we've, ha we've got enough of the population to start thinking what we were doing before didn't really make a lot of sense. Let's carry on with some of the things that we've learned. And if we can do that with even 10% of the population, that will gradually multiply over the, the next few years. So in a perfect world, um, I just think uh, we'd, we'd be free uh, to be ourselves, um, free to be, to enjoy and live and work as we, with all of the good things of our, our island, our culture, our nature, and all the history just just there, that we, we aren't sort of copying anybody else or trying to be anything else. Another thing that would be nice, wouldn't it, if, if things were, life was just a little bit slower sometimes, to give us the opportunity to think and to plan. From that aspect what we can do, I think we need to do things a bit slower and certainly, you know, the holidays and things like that obviously are going to come at a later date. But at the same time, I wish and I hope I can manage to keep um, a, the way I have learned about me. Also, like, have time to take my tea enjoy it actually not just drink it because there is tea or just, or coffee or whatever um or have the time to enjoy a conversation if someone tell me how are you i will actually or if i say to someone how are you i, I want to actually listen and how they are and it's not just a question like oh yeah how are you yeah like that kind of things i i hope we can like stop being so running all the time and so fast all the time I would like to see that when we have a nice day, the people are out enjoying it. People having the time to spend with family, I think that's really important. I'd have to say the centre of family. I think we've got to get back to those more basic family activities of, you know, growing a little bit of veg in the garden or something, or just taking time together to go on a bike ride or something like that. I think there's been an absolute flourish of, of people picking up painting and writing and photography and, and music or, 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 or other kind of sides of things. And, and actually, I mean, one, of the, one of the very simple methodologies we use at work is the five ways to well-being. Um, and you know, one of them is being interested and, and you know, playing and having that space, mental space to kind of, kind of explore. And I, I think that's a fascinating island utopia after this, is giving people time to follow their pursuits and their passions and their, their hobbies. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I suppose, you know, the, the few things that I could wish for is that, you know, that we could try and come closer together as a community, that we could um, sort of try and shed some of the, uh, the, the bad habits that we have as a society um, uh, around some of the wastefulness of, uh, of the way that we are.
I think um, from the mental health of the people who live here, it's got to be a place they feel is very connected to them and they're connected to. Um, and you do that by getting to know it better. This notion that we must always consume and we must always consume and buy new things and buy new things and update and upgrade kind of slightly shifted in our in our behaviors so let's consume information let's consume ideas and let's consume creativity and make stuff you know but i think for the whole people are saying you know what i can live without shopping for a new top or i can live with that and i think people are actually understanding that they don't need all this stuff i think we would replace buying stuff with doing stuff so instead of kind of randomly wandering down strand street we would be out doing things with our families a great potential possibility of us to kind of move away from this rat racy kind of life to that kind of really beautiful notion of like you know uh, live local think global <laughs>